you looking forward to the film? I am. I don't know much about it, but I love the uh, love the photos, and apparently it's about gardening, which I'm a big fan of that. So um, yeah, looking forward to it. Why do you think, particularly in this country, we seem to have such an obsession with history and period drama? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I love period drama, always have. Um, I don't know, I suppose there's something beautiful about the way people dressed and the buildings and the architecture and all of, all of that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly where the obsession comes from, but we do do period drama very well. We're also a little bit obsessed with Kate Winslet in this country. Why do you think that is? What makes her such a special actress? Well, she's just awesome, isn't she? Um, I mean, obviously, Titanic was a huge success and made her just internationally famous. And I think because she's very, very talented, but also she's, she seems to be very down-to-earth and a very nice person and um, not too caught up in the whole celeb thing. So I think people like that. We've got an album coming out called Change of Heart, which is um, coming out on April the 27th. Um, so I'm just doing all their promotion for that. And uh, yeah, that's what I've been up to for the last couple of months. Can you tell us a bit about what fans can expect from the album? Yeah, um, so obviously I've been in Holby City for two years, so I think a lot of people are a bit surprised I'm doing an album because they didn't know I was a singer. Um, I was in a group called Blake uh, for six years and we were a sort of classical crossover group. Um, this is a sort of pop album, but it's got some musical theatre numbers, it's got a country song, it's got a jazz standard on there, so it's a variety of different styles, but it's for people who love singing and love music. I, to be honest, I wanted to make an album, uh, I've been wanting to make a solo album for quite a few years. Um, I don't feel really like I have much to prove, you know, I, I've been in a TV show for a couple of years and I wanted to do an album, I felt like I had something good to give and uh, it felt like the right time to do it. Well, we, we sort of compiled a super group of people. Um, in terms of the band, we've got a guy called Tim Rennick who played for Pink Floyd and Elton John, um, a guy called David Payton, a guy called Stuart Elliott, um, all people who've played in rock bands and stuff like that. So we wanted to get something quite authentic there. And they're just real talents. So it was great to work with them. Uh, work with the producer, Andrew Powell, who did uh, Wuthering Heights. Um, so people who are very, very talented um, and also the Lund London Symphony Orchestra as well. So um, some very, very good people on the album. What does the music career mean for the acting career? Is that something you're going to try and keep going simultaneously? Yeah, I hope so. Um, yeah, we've got a couple of uh, ideas on the table in terms of acting. But yeah, definitely, I hope to be able to go straight on to another TV or film thing. Um, so it's definitely not turning um, my back on acting at all. It's just a little break, doing a bit of music, which I love and which I've been doing for so long. And, um, and then, yeah, back to acting. Have you got a message for fans before you leave us? Particularly fans, I guess, who are very excited for uh, more music. Well, thank you for supporting me on Holby, um, and thank you for pre-ordering the album on Amazon. Um, and, uh, yeah, keep it up. <laughs>